Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday the 7th of September and this is your Daily Outlook. The euro rallied against the Swiss franc yesterday after the Swiss National Bank surprised investors by intervening in the currency markets. The SMB announced that it will not allow the exchange rate of the euro against the Swiss franc to fall below 120 and that it is prepared to spend an unlimited amount buying foreign currencies. The central bank's moves is in an effort to weaken its currency as a strong franc poses a high risk for Swiss's exports and creates deflation. Versus the Swiss franc, the single currency gained 10.3%, rising to 121.53 from 110.18. Against the US dollar, the euro initially climbed to 142.85, but then surrendered its gains to trade as low as 139.72. Versus the Japanese yen, the single currency jumped to 109.95 but failed to hold on to its gains and later dropped to 108.02. Focus now turns to tomorrow's interest rate decision by the European Central Bank. The US dollar edged lower but rose against the Swiss franc. SMB's move to set a ceiling for the Swiss franc sent the dollar higher against the franc. The pair gained 10%, rising to 0.8626 from 0.7839. Against the Japanese yen, the greenback dipped to 77.06 from 77.72 after the Bank of Japan decided to keep its monetary policy unchanged, leaving rates near zero levels. The Australian dollar advanced today after the gross domestic product revealed better than expected figures. The report showed that Australia's economy grew by 1.2% in the second quarter of 2011, while the market expected a 1% growth. Against the dollar, the Aussie fell as low as 10605 from 10482. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices tick higher to $86.65 a barrel from $83.13. Gold edged lower to $1,818.48 an ounce from a record high $1,920.86. Silver also fell today, hitting $40.44 an ounce from $43.24. Now let's take a look at the currencies to watch out for. The euro dollar pivot point is at 141 with a preference to enter into short positions at 140.90. The dollar yen pivot point is at 77.50 with a preference to enter into short positions at 77.45. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 105.35 with a preference to enter into long positions at 105.35. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 160.55 with a preference to enter into short positions at 160.45. And the dollar CAD pivot point is at 0.9935, with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9935. Now looking at commodities, the oil pivot point is at 85, with a preference to enter into long positions at 85. The gold pivot point is at 1870, with a preference to enter into short positions at 1870. And the silver pivot point is at 42, with a preference to enter into short positions at 42. And on today's calendar, the market movers are the UK manufacturing production in July forecast to gain 1.9%. UK industrial production in July forecast to fall 0.5%. German industrial production in August forecast to gain 0.5%. And Canada interest rate decision is forecast to keep rates unchanged at 1%. Now on to equity markets. US equities were negative on Tuesday with the SP500 down 0.74% and the Dow was down 0.90%. European bursts were mixed with the FTSE up 1.06%, the DAX was down minus 1% and the CAC was down minus 1.13%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 2.03% and the Hang Seng was up 1.2%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Joe from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.